Welcome back, Golly Vibes family. So today's video is going to be pretty interesting. It's kind of something we've talked about before in the past. On on the verge of it. Um, you know, we've talked about different videos of different people claiming to be witches, claiming to be demons, that are actually celebrities. And people still look up to these people for some strange reason. It blows my mind. Uh, many of you have come out of that darkness and stopped looking up to these people. Many of you have stopped listening to these people. Hallelujah. But what's interesting today is, you know, uh, Justin Timberlake has gone down a little road. Gone down a little dark road, man, as far as his visuals. Um, specifically, this one visual I'm about to show you. And uh, I've seen a, a, a viral video of this and it had me shook to be honest um i was like what in the world is going on why do these artists keep coming out back to back to back showing different dark demonic things in their visuals why it blows my mind some of them say that they're christians some of them say they believe in god some of them thank god at award shows it's like do you think this is just some kind of game some kind of art well there's nothing artistic about that there's nothing artistic about that. Act like you're a demon. Now, li listen, it's a difference if you're if you are putting on some kind of show or some kind of visual where you are showing demonic things and showing godly things and showing how demonic things can be overtaken by godly things. That's different. But when you are acting like you're a demon and then the demon wins, what are you really trying to say to us? Let me show you guys the video I'm talking about that I seen pop up on my desk. Check this out. This is the most satanic music video I have ever seen. I don't know what Justine Timberlake is up to, but this is dark. And I hope this is not being filmed inside of a church because once he enters this building, we find out that this is some secret party and he is quickly greeted with his alter ego. As he watches over him, we are then greeted with the- Definitely looks like some kind of church. Am I tripping? Some kind of Catholic church, cathedral. Ain't that interesting? You know, you got to watch in videos like this because they are very symbolic. Demonic videos are very symbolic, right? It's a whole lot of counterfeit things that are evil and it's symbolic. So you see him next to some kind of glass that looks like Catholic, like Catholic type, Catholic type glass, to be honest watches over him we are then greeted with the devil herself who invites him to come dance he then starts to riz her up but then it gets dark very quickly she scratches his face which represents the possession and everyone on the dance floor turns into demons him and his alter ego then make eye contact with each other like what have you just done and then the devil arises she spreads her wings looks at him right in the face and all the other demons worship her she then drops this black liquid from her mouth on to him and then this is where things just get wild everyone then gets this red liquid on them they start doing stuff with each other and honestly it's just extremely creepy at the end of the party his alter ego buries his old self in the trunk he then gets in the car with the devil her eyes are possessed they turn to him and then his eyes become possessed now let me say this real quick because that's that's mind-blowing but i've showed you guys a video not too long ago, of how when artists come into the industry, they are different. They look different. They are different than how they are once they are in the industry for a certain amount of times. I've showed you guys that video of different people before and after. Mind-blowing. Now, we see JT in this video which is kind of strange because you've seen him before. Then you've seen everything he went through inside where he was giving the devil attention. He came into an agreement with the devil. The devil scratched him. The devil possessed him. The devil took over him. So a demon took over him. His alter ego, they wanted to call it in here, took over him and fully possessed him. By the end of the video, he buried his old self and threw him in the trunk, closed the trunk, and then the demon took over of the body of the vessel that's what that whole video is 
telling us, is showing us, if we're diving deep into the spiritual aspect of it, that's what it was. A, a, a normal person going into a situation where he comes into an agreement with, to dance with the devil, and the devil takes over him. I, I don't know how else you want me to really explain that or say that. Now, we've seen this a little while ago when it came to Taylor Swift, when she started saying she was a witch. What's going, is there something in the water? Is there something in the water? Is there something in the water? As my, my Nana would say, my Nana's from Boston. She has a Boston accent. Is there something in the water? Is there something in the water? What's going on here? Like, Taylor Swift, America's sweetheart, started saying she was a witch and making videos like as if she was in hell and hell's a party. Come down here, guys. It'd be fun. Wait, 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 wait. How are people just doing this and people are just okay with it? Like back in the days, we had a people had to show you guys hidden symbols. People would be like, no, that's not true. They wouldn't do that. Now it's just in your face and people are just turning a blind eye to it. Well, it's just art. How blind can you be? I mean, how, how much in delusion can you be to see stuff like this going down? They making it seem like hell is a party. When, listen, these people don't know how serious the soul is. They don't know how serious the spirit is. They are caught up in a fleshly, a fleshly situation in this matrix bubble where they have no fear of God, forgetting that they are a creation only in this container for so many years. They get so caught up in what they're seeing. They get so caught up in temporary rather than eternal. And it's going to cost them once they leave this earth. It's going to cost them tremendously. You know how many people have left this earth and they just wish they could come back? They wish they could turn things around. They wish they could live for the Lord now. They wish they could not watch this nonsense. They wish they could stop listening to this nonsense. They wish, they wish, they wish they could. Do you know how many people? Everyone in hell. You got a chance, though. You are still here. You are still alive. You are still breathing. You still have a chance to come out of that delusion. Thank the Lord for pulling me out because I was deep in the mix. I was deep in the mix. I mean, you don't even, I, I can't even count how many times I really just sat still and thanked God for pulling me out of the matrix. Pulling me out of the demonic matrix where you want what you can see more than God. Where you're making idols out of people. These people, different people worship these people. People worship Beyonce. Beyonce got a whole church. Can you believe that mess? A whole church where they worship Beyonce. You think to yourself, like, how ridiculously, how the human mind can just be so gullible. That's also why I thank the Lord, because I have a heart to seek God. I have a heart to seek my creator. You're not truly going to know who you are or what you are meant for until you know who created you. It's just not possible. So the devil tries to get you in a space where you are surrounded by your environment and seeing different things to make you think that you want to be that. That's, what's hap that's what happens. The devil puts you in an environment, all kind of billboards we're watching, looking out outside. There's all kind of billboards outside of nonsense. Alcohol billboards, weed billboards, artists, celebrity artists that are demonic artists, billboards, secular music billboards, all on the radio, trash, demonic music. The main stations that are blown up, trash, demonic music. The main award shows, trash, demonic music, demonic movies, demonic television, 
Demonic, all kind of different things. Trash, trash, trash. But that's the main thing on the mainstream. Why is that? Because the devil is trying to distract you from who you actually are and what your purpose is actually meant to be, which is to get connected to God. So you actually know who you are, tr who you truly are. So you actually know who you truly are. Why would the devil be trying to make you not know who you truly are? Because he's frightened of that for you to know who you actually are. Because once you know who you are, you can take dominion over him and the whole kingdom of darkness. But you don't even understand that. You'd rather go out to the bar or the club and party and drink your life away and bla black out and throw up, in the, throw up in the toilet. Wake up the next morning with a hangover that feels like death. You'd rather that life than to know who you actually are with God. You see how you see how brainwashed and manipulated the world has has made you a gullible heart, a gullible mind. Come out of the distractions and get back right with God. The world is meant to distract you. You think it's it's just going to be easy? No, it's a fight. It's a fight. It's a fight walking with the Lord. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence, but the violent take it by force. It's a fight out here. Do you really love the Lord? Do you really love the Lord? Because, listen, when you first come to the Lord, that, 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 that initial stage where you come out of a place of darkness and the weight comes off your shoulder, hallelujah. But as your walk increases and as you ascend spiritually, there's more and more darkness trying to corrupt the bubble that you are in. The temptation is going to get harder. The tribulation is going to get stronger. But what does the word of God say? Resist the devil and he shall flee. So that temptation and that tribulation is only temporary. You have to get to a point where you understand that and you are strong enough to overcome it. Hallelujah. Overcome it and allow the Lord to build you because all that's doing is building you in the spirit when you go through those things. And sooner or later, you're going to be so built that it doesn't affect you. That's the beauty of it. Let's get to that part, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Love you guys. God bless. Shalom.